Overfishing depletes all marine life, impacting the whole environment, transforming waters once teeming with life into aquatic gravel parks. Fishing vested interest is incredibly powerful, and politicians have listened to that for years. They've not listened to communities who are witnessing the destruction of a common resource. Wild native oyster populations were once the essence of marine ecosystems around the UK coast. They've declined more than 95% thanks to overfishing. Native oysters can be a building block for rewilding marine life. They're ecosystem engineers and are superb water filters. Unbelievably, a single oyster is able to clean almost 40 gallons of seawater every day. They also create oyster reefs, which provide nursery grounds for fish and protection for salt marshes and other fragile coastal ecosystems. In Loch Craignish, on the west coast of Scotland, the sea loch in Argyll and Butte is popular with fishermen, sailors and tourists. Danny Renton, a radio documentary maker and founder of the Sea Wilding Project, he wants to restore the loch's marine life to its former glory. At Loch Craignish, there would have once been millions of oysters, now there are only small clusters of a few hundred. Thanks to lottery funding of £225,000, 60,000 native oysters have been released earlier this month, with thousands more to follow over a five-year period. The pioneering project aims to reintroduce a million native oysters back into its waters. There will be so many benefits. Marine scientists will monitor their impact on water quality, and schools will visit to learn about marine life and conservation. It's part of a growing cohort of oyster restoration projects in Scotland and around the UK, from Falmouth to Cornwall to Mercy in Essex. Rewilding is the practice of giving the land and sea back to nature. And sea rewilding can be about putting marine conservation back into the hands of the communities.